There's no place for celebration here. This is a time for survival and little more. For thousands of families who escaped the fighting in Hodeida, they now stay in an old school block in Sana'a. It's somewhere to live, but not a place anyone would call home. Eid used to be more joyful as we used to celebrate the occasion with our families, relatives and friends. On the contrary, Eid here in the camp is filled with sorrow and grief as we are living the tragedy of being away from home and our loved ones. However, we thank God for what we have. For many here, a moment of joy when a smile breaks across a face is a stolen moment. A chance to forget the reality of where they are and what they are. In the past, we used to celebrate Eid with family and friends. Today, we feel like we're being imprisoned in this camp. We cannot go out or have fun. We used to visit our relatives and friends during Eid, used to go to the beach or the park. But here, there's nothing at all. Most of the families here came from the port city of Hodeida. Thousands of families have come here since the Saudi-led coalition began the largest assault since the almost four-year war began, aiming to seize the port and the city's airport. It's estimated more than 100,000 people have fled the city since the beginning of June. As Muslims around the world wrap up their Eid celebrations for the refugees here in Sana'a, there's no point in celebrating. That will be kept for another day. Eid used to be God's paradise on earth, but now we're living in hell. This Eid is tasteless. We cannot feel the joy or pleasure of the occasion, nor can our children, as we are away from home, Hudaida. When the war will be over, we will return home and celebrate the best Eid ever. There's no Eid away from our home city. Eid al hadda is meant to show the bonds of Muslim brother and sisterhood, a time when everyone is equal. But for those in Yemen who feel neglected and forgotten, it's not something they're ready to celebrate. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Djibouti.